Pimp My Screen is a really great application. Once you load it up, you can see that there are a lot of different wallpapers you can choose from. These wallpapers are all uniquely designed for the iPhone 5 itself. To install one of these wallpapers, you're just going to tap on it, save it. It's going to save it in your, um, your settings area for your wallpaper. Go to your camera roll, select the wallpaper that you want to add, set it as your home screen, and now you have a really cool wallpaper right from Pimp My Screen. It's a really great application. There are tons of lock screens and wallpapers to choose from. They all look really cool and are all highly customized for the iPhone 5 itself. Don't forget to check out the extended review up here in an annotation link. The next app on our list is Downcast. Now this is a really great application rated 4.5 out of 5 stars. Now what this lets you do is listen to tons of different podcasts both on iTunes and download them manually. And it lets you look at the top podcasts overall. It adds them to your download queue and then you can listen to them on the go. Now you can create your own playlist from this as well. You can also schedule downloads and sync it with iCloud. There's a lot of cool stuff that you can do with this. There's a lot of different settings involved and it's really cool. I highly recommend checking out the Downcast application. It's a pretty sweet application. Don't forget to watch the extended review for their full list of features. The next app on our list is Clear. And this one, above all, really benefits from the new iPhone 5 um, display. The 4-inch display makes it be easier to display your entire set of lists and take advantage of the entire screen. As you can see here, it does take advantage of the whole screen in the list mode. And what you can do is you can add lists on here easily just by swiping down and create a new list. Um, you can swipe just like that to complete a list. It goes to the bottom. You can swipe up to clear your uh, completed list, add new list. Um, you can add different list items like this. You can add different stuff in your personal list. You can change the themes. It's really cool. Highly recommend checking it out. Don't forget to watch the fully featured review in the annotation link. The next app we have is Camera Plus. This is a really great application. It lets you take really cool pictures. There's a lot of different options. Um, you can turn flash on and off. But one of the cool things is you can actually enter um, stabilizer mode. And what that'll do is it won't take a picture until your hand is fully stable. So it's going to wait there. As you can see, it's red. So once you hold it stable long enough, it's going to snap a picture just like that. So it only takes a picture that's not going to be blurry. It's going to be fully stable. So that's really cool. There's also burst and timer options. Once you have it, you can actually edit the picture, share it on Facebook, save it to your camera roll. It's all in this little light box application area. And it's all fully featured in one application overall. Highly recommend getting this application. Don't forget to watch the full extended review right up here. The last application we have is Weather 2. This is a really cool app that basically shows the weather both in the background and in the text that it displays. It's going to show you where you are, the temperature, and what the weather actually looks like. So for example, in LA it's going to be clear and sunny, so it's going to show you here what it looks like. It's going to show you the sun, the grass. You can change it back and forth between different places. So if you want to go to New York, it's going to show you the time and all that stuff. But if you wanted to also see day by day, you just swipe up day by day. But if you wanted to see hour by hour, make it a little more descriptive, go over here. It's going to show you hour by hour and the temperature and what it's going to look like. It's a really cool application. Highly recommend checking it out. Don't forget to watch the extended review. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And remember, we're probably going to be coming out with a part two very soon because every day apps are updated for the iPhone 5. So as they come out, we'll be checking them out. And once we have a full list, we'll be releasing a part two. Don't forget to subscribe so you'll be instantly notified when we come out with a part two. Also like this video. Leave in the comment section below your favorite optimized app and it may get into the part two video. Don't forget to check out the top games optimized for the iPhone 5 and top free apps overall. Once again, guys, I'm out from AppFind, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.